This page was created to teach black history. Unfortunately, the American educational system was designed to exclude our real historical account. So we are here to dismantle it. It's time to enlighten those of us who have been kept in the dark. I am a black man who didn't know enough about my own history. So I began to dig deeper and do my own research. Black history is American history. So I want people of all races and cultures to join together to learn our history as one. Here, I will share all of my findings. Please like, follow, share, and subscribe to Teaching Black History. The story of Gloria Johnson Powell. Gloria was born in 1936 and grew up in Boston, Massachusetts and attended Boston Latin Academy. She received her BA in economics and sociology from Mount Holyoke College in 1958 and her MD in 1962 from Meharry Medical College in Nashville, Tennessee. She completed her residency at UCLA and was on the faculty there for 15 years before joining the Harvard Medical School where she was on the faculty for 10 years. She was the University of Wisconsin School of Medicine and Public Health Associate Dean for Cultural Diversity and a Professor of Psychiatry and Pediatrics. Her text Black Monday's Children discusses the effect of desegregation on Southern black children and she has continued working with minority children. Johnson Powell has also published a book about the impact of sexual abuse on children. In addition, with her daughter, she wrote the biography of her mother. In the 1960s, many students organized and marched for civil rights. Gloria Johnson Powell was among them and even thought about leaving medical school to recruit more freedom riders. It was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. himself who changed her mind. At a meeting of student organizers, she recalls, he banged his hand on the table pointed his finger at me and said, you will stay in school because one of these days we're going to need you. So Johnson Powell pursued her dream, becoming a pediatrician and a child psychologist who was one of the first African-American women professors tenured at Harvard. While serving individuals in each of those roles, she has kept her eyes on the prize of racial equality as well. While on sabbatical from Harvard, she became a dean at the University of Wisconsin, where she was responsible for recruiting people of color. She met that goal by starting a center to study cultural diversity in healthcare, and that led to landmark national legislation creating a new center within the National Institutes of Health focused on studying minority health and eliminating health disparities between races. It was looted as the first civil rights legislation for the 21st century. As head of the new center, Johnson Powell and colleagues focused on improving the health of mothers and children in Milwaukee, the area nearest the university with the largest minority population. Johnson Powell died on October 11, 2017 in Hamburg, Germany. She was 81 years old.